Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 guys in today's video We're gonna be showcasing something super cool that I know you guys have been wanting to see for a very long time This is the root creator in Forza Horizon 4 now real quick before we get into today's video If you're watching this video the day it actually comes out There is currently one day left to enter our giveaway for Forza Horizon 4 It's actually an ultimate edition version of the game which means you can play as early as Friday, which is awesome. If you'd like to enter, there is a link down below, and I wish you good luck. A winner will be chosen tomorrow, which is pretty cool, and announced on Twitter, so make sure you're following there as well. Anyways, let's talk about the root creator in Forza Horizon 4, because it is super, super cool. We're going to be going through all of the features and what you have to do. So, first of all, when you get your hands on Forza Horizon 4, you might actually notice that there is no root creator in the game. That's because the root creator actually only launches with the second update of Forza Horizon 4. So that will be on October 25th about. If there are any changes with that, we will again update you on Twitter. So make sure you're following. But for right now, the, the Forza updates will include more cars, more races, and a bunch of stuff like that. But the second update, the big feature coming is obviously the Root Creator. Anyways, the way the Root Creator works is you can go up to any race in the game that already exists, and that will be your start point for your race in Forza Horizon 4. Once you go up to your race, you go all the way over to the right, and you click uh, Create Route. Once you do that, you jump in your car of your choice, and be warned, as soon as you go, the path that you're driving is going to be the racing line that everybody's going to be using. So you can see, as the car's driving around, it's leaving a blue line as it does. That is the route that everybody will see on their map and be following, so just be aware of that. Anyways, as you're driving around, you can press the X button on your controller, and that will place a checkpoint on the road. Then, once you're placing your checkpoint, you can actually move how far apart they are, or how, how close they are. You can move them both independently, so if you're just driving, trying to get the optimal racing line, you need to move your checkpoint over. That's totally okay, and super, super cool, and you can do all of that. It's awesome. I do have a couple of questions about this. One, or I, I would imagine you guys have a couple questions. One, how long can you make races? Well... You can actually make races as long as 40 miles in the game, which is insane. Just for a reference, going around the entire map is about 20 miles. So basically that's two times around the entire map. And you can use those 40 miles any way you wish. You could make an entire loop around the entire map. Or you could just like, I don't even know. You, you could have some crazy fun with it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very in interested to see what you guys make with your crazy root creators. The other thing that you cannot do in this root creator is place props. Now I was I was thinking maybe, hey, you could place props down to place like jumps or guardrails if you don't want people cutting a corner. That's actually not possible, so you're not gonna be able to do that. Anyways, once you get to the end of your race, you place the finish line down. And again, I don't really know how this works because obviously there are two main types of races. There's point to point races like the one we've built right here. But there's also circuit races. Now, hey, I've placed all these checkpoints and my finish line is right on the start line. And it sort of makes it into a, a, a circuit race. You can see that there's one that's already been made. We didn't actually get gameplay to see how that one was actually made. But I assume the system is actually smart enough to go, hey, okay, your, your finish line and your start line are on like the same point. Hey, we're going to make it a circuit race for you. And then, hey... Your, your start point and your finish line, they're on opposite ends of the map. That's, that's a point-to-point -point race. Anyways, once you've finished your race, uh, building the whole thing, you can go in, name it, set all the parameters for it. You can change the season, the time of day, uh, the laps, if it's a circuit race, I imagine, and all of that. And then, to test your race, you actually have to go in and drive it with drive avatars just to show that it's actually possible to do. If you finish your race, your race will be shared out to the community, and then there's going to be like a whole thing when you go and click on the race. You'll see like custom routes that other people have made, like best of the week, best of the month, ones that they choose, like their favorites and stuff. It's super, super cool. I am so excited to try out this route creator for myself. It just has like endless possibilities, whether you want to do point to point, circuit races, races from one corner of the map all the way to the other. Ralph, the creative director for Forza, actually said he really wants someone to make like an assault course by putting checkpoints on the roofs of houses 
and making it more of like a puzzle to figure out how you get to those checkpoints instead of like so like a normal old-fashioned race i'm super excited for stuff like that anyways guys that was your first look at the root creator in forza horizon 4 let me know what you think in the comments down below and i'll see you guys soon with some more forza horizon 4 i'll see you guys then bye